I witnessed when they were counseling a young lady who was about to get married. And I was surprised at what the women were telling her. They said, no matter what it is, every time your husband is angry and is talking, keep quiet. I felt it was unfair. I said, what if it's his fault? He said, just keep quiet. That's not the time to talk. And later when the Lord would teach me this, I saw the wisdom in that. Keep quiet. You have to understand the power of jurisdiction. Not every domain is within your control. Not every life and destiny is under your influence. As a man of God, I have a responsibility for those who are connected to me spiritually. To mentor, to guide, to rebuke, to admonish in righteousness. But I cannot jump in and see any Christian around and say, I'm a man of God. Are you aware, provided you are a Christian, you are a man of come here. What are you doing like this? No. You cannot go right now after service and go to a beer parlor and just stand and say, all of you in this beer parlor, the zeal of the Lord is consuming me and I have... No, 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 no. The same way you have rights, there is also a right that protects them. Your assignment is to pray for them, to preach Christ and to continue to trust the power of the Holy Spirit. We try to do the work of the Holy Spirit and we end up in a lot of casualties. This is something I have learned in my life. Peace will be far from us if we do not understand jurisdiction. How many zealous workers just get up and knock the offices of their boss? They just open and say, sir, I'm here to talk my mind. Just because you are my employer does not mean that I can't be collecting 40,000 and then you are slashing it and the man is keeping the fact that he's quiet. You should be afraid. You see, when great people are quiet, find out why. I'm tired of all of this. I know nobody will have the strength to speak, but I'm going to speak. Even if I lose the job and when you, you are done talking, he says, all right, I respect you. Thank you. And then you become afraid of what you have done now because now you are aware of the gravity of what you have done you know you have violated jurisdiction you have three or four people above you to that man you are just three years old in that office you fought with everybody and you think the only thing they will do is to drive you no he will call all the people within his circle of friends and say beware of this person if he ever comes to your company drive him fast you got more than a sack is a complete destruction of the next five ten years of your life until you have to build new relationships again understanding jurisdiction is powerful i have learned this as a principle and it has helped my life if you want to experience the peace of god please hear me every jurisdiction is not your jurisdiction every jurisdiction i repeat is not your jurisdiction every time you are tempted to manifest authority find out am i manifesting authority within my jurisdiction you see why jesus blessed us and said all power in heaven in other words i have a right to say what i'm saying now because my jurisdiction by reason of the substitutionary sacrifice all power did the bible not say we wrestle not against flesh and blood but it begins to list jurisdictions even these demon spirits they operate with an organized organogram they don't dapple into jurisdictions what the spirit of fear would do the spirit of lust will not do what the spirit of lust will do the spirit of um rebellion also would not do they respect jurisdiction do you know why medicine works well because of compliance of jurisdiction a, a consultant pediatrician will look at you and say okay fine let me write a note and refer you to someone he understands jurisdiction even though he's a consultant you know why them look at all the fields where jurisdiction is honored there is dexterity and excellence same thing in the military there's the Navy, there's the Air Force, there's the Army. They do not violate jurisdiction. When Michael and when Michael came to carry the body of, of um, 
Moses, Satan was fighting with that body. If Michael ever said, I rebuke you, it will not be possible. It's only us that can do the rebuking in his name. But he now said, the Lord, I invoke the power that covers a jurisdiction higher than you. I, the Lord, rebuke you. Please understand this. This, as simple as it is, is the reason why many people are unable to truly experience peace authority in the realm of the spirit how about the sons of skiva let me list for you several people who violated jurisdiction and paid the price have you seen many young people whose spiritual authority has the consciousness of it certain rankings in the spirit has not been given to them some of them just got up and entered general hospitals or got up and entered places shrines have you seen people who went to born shrines and came out they carried them from the shrine out this sign shall follow them who believe they say and god forbid we are going to go and burn it and while they are burning it people are watching them and as soon as they are done burning it they are blind they are deaf they are lame they bring them out compromise of jurisdiction there are levels today by the grace of god that god has brought me that i was not there yesterday imagine that i started ministry and i'll go to a stadium this this is the same thing people have done people just get up and say no let's let's mobilize ourselves and go to a stadium and then there are only 50 people that come around and they are wondering no god you can't fail us this is not what i saw in my vision the vision you saw was for the you that has grown and the the, the there is an expanded jurisdiction if baba deboye today respectfully speaking this is up getting to two o'clock if he says by six all believers meet me at the stadium it will be as if they started the publicity last year do you know why because of jurisdiction you start publicizing from now till next year you will be surprised at the disdain i'm not insulting you god is lifting all of us in jesus name the inability to understand jurisdiction is what has brought a lot of problems to us There is jurisdiction in the spirit there is jurisdiction psychologically there is jurisdiction even here in the flesh do you know there are certain responsibilities you should not take if you don't have certain jurisdictions because the attacks that are allocated to that crown you are carrying it can almost kill you it's why when you say god lift me he says wait first say, lord i'm in a hurry say, wait first you don't know the attacks that follow the crown you want to carry and if you force that crown he will leave you you will pick it and in two days you won't be able to sleep you say what is that you say that's the burden of the people who the wearer of this crown prays for all the time there are certain anointings even for graces graces have jurisdictions you must have capacity lord give me an international anointing are you ready for it because when you are about to sleep that's somebody's time zone when he's active are you ready for the stamina to manage the burden that comes with that kind of grace it's not enough to say lord lift me give me an anointing that will make everybody across the globe uh -uh, uh -uh. jurisdictions come with a price once upon a time the world would not hear us we were limited you will be witnesses unto me in jerusalem jurisdiction then judea then samaria then to the utmost part is god helping someone now so we are going to pray shortly i apologize our time is gone but we are going to cry for the grace to be faithful within your apportioned jurisdiction the trouble that has come upon many of us spiritually and otherwise may have been that we have violated jurisdiction you are not the eldest in the family yet you went up and you said something that maybe culturally speaking should be routed through the eldest one that is the source of the conflict in the family today it's not just a spiritual issue is that jurisdiction was not honored many families are in disarray today because people could not humble themselves to keep jurisdiction 
there are things that deceive us to violate jurisdiction money education gender all of these things but we must bring ourselves back to order there are many women who have violated jurisdiction and felt maybe because i'm wealthier than my husband is just a man as a figurehead but there is a spiritual word that backs that man you violate that jurisdiction you expose yourself to grave danger is god speaking to us here has someone learned something you administer grace within your apportioned jurisdiction you want to be a peacemaker you don't want to get into trouble you are only a king when you are in your palace and your kingdom not every kingdom every king is not a king in every kingdom you are only a king in your kingdom so when you go to another kingdom that is not yours you must submit yourself to the principles in that kingdom blessed are the peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers it says seek peace and pursue it and one key that i leave you with right now is jurisdiction for some of you you may need to pick your call after this service and call your elder brother and say sorry now i understand why you hate me so much it's not that you're a bad person is that i because i think you are not educated i have downplayed on jurisdiction right now we acknowledge you for what you stand for you will be surprised that the moment you acknowledge him he will acknowledge you back you say no no continue what you were doing before do you not know that what satan wanted was what god gave man so it was not that god was insecure he wanted a correct protocol to giving it the image of God was what Satan wanted. And when God withdrew it from him, he said, to show you I'm not insecure, let me give dust. That was, that was what shocked Satan. I was made of light and I desired this and you rejected it. Then you came and molded dust and gave it to it. Can I tell you this? Most of the things people are not giving you, they want to give you. If only you acknowledge jurisdiction the prodigal son had a jurisdiction where his wealth worked is that true provided he was under the covering of his father what did he say I am tired of your influence give me my thing and the father said so be it when he violated jurisdiction luck came in he started going down look at where he ended up you see when you are compromising on jurisdiction you will look like you are in control for a long time till you begin to plunge into obscurity he found himself with peaks and he said i will arise i will go back to my father and i will say father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of these the father said provided you have come restore the ring the symbol of authority you are still part of this family i will not take you as a slave you are still my son jurisdiction is powerful what happened to us when we left god we left the jurisdiction of our authority and victory and our covering why do we passionately call people to come back to jesus come to that ark your place of safety provided they were inside the ark the rain could not touch them listen to me household of david i'm speaking to the globe but listen there is an authority and a jurisdiction god has planted you among the many spiritual factors that control your victory your prophetic connection and understanding that when god calls you and puts you under a grace men are not just empty people there is a throne in heaven that backs what they represent it's possible to be a member of this church loving jesus and never tap into the riches of what was there because you do not discern jurisdiction any man of god is your man of god and please don't feel bad any man of god is no no it can't be like that it's like saying any man is your husband you can joke with someone maybe your husband's friend say my husband my husband they know it's a joke jesus corrected the woman at the well because there was no jurisdiction every man was her husband and he said no it ought not to be so there are people any power is their power witchcraft power traditional power everything together no we are going to pray 
lord the place i must stay to reign the jurisdiction that controls my relevance the jurisdiction that makes for peace i repent for veering off from the jurisdiction my assigned place please lift your voice and 